Welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you how to extract pages from your PDF document, how to insert, how to delete, how to reorganize, how to insert a blank page, a clipboard image, and a web page. I will also show you how to split that huge 100 page dissertation PDF document into multiple pages using Adobe Creative Cloud. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and open up my PDF document. And my goal here is to show you how to reorganize, edit, insert, delete your pages inside your PDF document. So to do that, I will go ahead and click on edit. Keep in mind, I am signed into my Creative Cloud account. That's why I do have all these options. So let's go ahead and click organize pages to organize any page hover over your page click drag and drop hover click drag and drop if you have multiple pages that you want to rearrange simply highlight all your pages drag them and drop them wherever you want if you want to select multiple pages click hold down your shift button and as you can see you can select multiple pages drag them wherever you want and drop them so that's how you organize or reorder your pages. Now let's go ahead and see how to delete the pages. Let's just say I want to delete page two. When I hover over it, I do have an option to delete. So simply click on delete. It's going to give you a confirmation window. If you want to go ahead and delete it, click OK. I'm going to click no. But when you hover over, if you noticed, I do have an option to rotate my pages as well. Now what if you want to delete multiple pages? All I have to do is select and click delete from my left hand side. You can see there's a delete option here. Again, a confirmation window pops up. Click cancel because I don't want to right now, but you click OK if you want to delete. Now let's go ahead and see how I can insert a blank page in between my documents. I can use this insert option on the left hand side, but I usually prefer clicking on the page, clicking on these three ellipses, and click insert a blank page and as you can see now I have a page exactly where I wanted it to be or you can simply click on the page scroll all the way to your left and then insert a blank page it's going to ask you page 4 of 19 you have an option to click before or after I want to insert a blank page after page 4 now you can change information right here. Let's just say I want to insert a blank page before page 11. So I'm going to click page 11 before and click OK. And there I have a blank page before page 11. But I usually like to hover over, click and then insert a page, which inserts a page, a blank page right after. Let's go ahead and delete all these blank pages. I don't want them here. Now let me show you how you can insert a web page into your PDF document. So here I have a web page from indeed.com. It's about how to think critically. And I want to go ahead and paste this for my students inside my PDF document. To do that, I will simply copy the link and I'm going to go back to my PDF document. And let's just say I want to paste it after page two. All I have to do is click. On these three ellipses here you have an option to insert from a web page or you can click on the page click on your left hand side that says insert and insert from a web page right here once you have inserted you will have an option to delete and reorganize your pages but I like to use or I like to hover over my page and insert right there because I feel like I have more control doing that let's just say I want to insert after page three so I'm going to click on page three Click on those three ellipses, click on insert from web page. Here I'm going to go ahead and paste the web page link or website link and I'm going to click add. And here Adobe does its magic and here the pages have been inserted. And I do not want to have this page so I'm going to delete this page, click OK. I think the next two pages are OK and the, the eighth page or the last page is extra. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one as well. There you go. So that's how you insert a web page. Now let's go ahead and see how to insert an image. And as you can see, I have these cute little puppies here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my clipping tool and I'm going to take a clip of this little puppy here and I'm going to go back to my clipping tool. All I'm going to do is copy 
So what I'm doing is I'm using my clipboard to go ahead and insert into my PDF. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So remember I copied that image. Now I'm going to hover over. I want that little puppy to be the first page or maybe the second page, yeah. So I'm gonna hover over the page one, click on it, click on these three ellipses and here I have an option to insert from a clipboard. You have this option here and you also have an option insert from a clipboard all the way from the left hand side. Remember whatever options you have on these three ellipses, you have those options on the left hand side as well. I usually use the ones by hovering over the page because that I feel like I have more control. So I'm going to click on these three ellipses and here I'm going to click on insert from clipboard and that cute little puppy is right there. Now let's just say I want to insert the same puppy after page eight. I'm going to click on page eight, scroll all the way to the left hand side and click from clipboard and it's going to ask me do you want it before or after. Let me just put before and click OK. And there I have it. That is so cute and so cool. Now let's go ahead and see how to replace your pages with another PDF document. Let's just say you want to replace something. So let's go ahead and click on replace on the left hand side. Here you have an option to replace. I'm going to pick chat GPT. That's hot right now. So why not? Again, if you want to check out videos on chat GPT, please click on the link above. I'm going to click on the chat GPT PDF and click open. And it's going to ask me, hey, what page of that PDF file do you want to replace with the current page? I'm going to say replace this puppy document, which is page eight with page two of the other document and I'm going to click OK and it's going to say are you sure? I'm going to click yes and as you can see the puppy page has been replaced with another page in the other document. Now let's go ahead and see how to extract pages from a PDF document. All you have to do is to select the pages that you want to extract and click this little option that says extract pages. Now you do have an option to delete the pages after extracting and you do have an option to extract pages as a separate file. Do whatever you require but let me just go ahead and click extract and as you can see it has extracted those pages and once I have it I'm going to go ahead and click save and save it wherever I want. So extracting pages is that simple. Now let's go ahead and see how you can split this PDF document. To split the PDF document, if you look closer, I have 24 pages. Now I can split this PDF document into five different pages or five page documents or 24 divided by four six page documents, 24 divided by six four page documents. So you can go ahead and split these documents into multiple documents. Now this could be useful when you have a 100 page dissertation or 200 page dissertation and you want to go ahead and cut that down into chunks. So let's go ahead and click on split and here it's going to say hey how many pages do you want it to split. So if I split this into two page document I'm going to have 12 different documents. I don't want to do that. I'm going to say 12 and then you do have an output option. Here it says the same file as select folder. So if you want to save the splitted documents in the same folder, don't touch anything, just leave it where it is. But if you want to go ahead and save it somewhere else, go ahead, browse where you want to save it. Now you have an option to use a label. I like to leave it as part one, part two, part three, so I know what parts they are. But if you want to change it, you can go ahead and change it as well. You do have an option to use a separator. I just leave all of these and I also click do not overwrite existing files because that's not what I want to do. I want to keep the source files always. And once you've done what you want, click OK. And all you have to do is pick the number. I'm just going to say 10. And once I click split, this whole document splits into a 10 page document or four page documents or multiple documents. Let me go ahead and click split here. And it says the document has been split into three different documents. Let me click OK and let me go ahead and find where it is. And as you can see, it says it has split my combine into part one, part two, part three. So this is another way if you have a big document to split it into multiple documents.
I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you learned how to extract, how to split, replace, insert, delete, reorganize your PDF documents. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. I'll leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology, Canvas, and PowerPoint playlist. Do not forget to check them out. And do leave a comment in the comment section below. What other Adobe videos do you want me to make for you? Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.